Hello everyone, this is Dave, and welcome to Dave's Recent Things. Whether you're a returning friend or a brand new friend, everybody is always welcome here on my channel. I am excited today because I am joining the playlist that Lisa and company created for Canada Day. If you weren't aware, I am from Ontario, Canada, living in Toronto. So on July 1st, we celebrate Canada Day. And Lisa and company created a playlist for my fellow Canadian crafters to join to show you some good old red and white Canadian crafts. So don't forget, after you watch my video, there's gonna be a link down below to the playlist. Click on it, click on those videos, and watch them all. <laughs> so today I have a red and white ribbon weave with a little bit of deco mesh mixed in there to celebrate the Canada Day collaboration. So why don't we hop on to that video and I'll see you on the other side. The materials today is a wire frame from the Dollar Tree. I have 10 inch deco mesh in red and white and an assortment of red and white ribbons, two and a half inches, pipe cleaners, and that's basically everything. The first thing I'm going to do to start here is I'm gonna make a work wreath. So if you haven't seen a work wreath before, it's just basically a wire wreath frame with pipe cleaners attached to it or tinsel as they say. So I'm gonna take 12 pipe cleaners and I'm gonna attach them at the anchors and the first two inner circles and then on the outside inner circles. And it's gonna be 12 in total that I'm attaching. So the first ones I'm attaching to the crossbar and the first two inner wires. I'm just gonna twist it around a little bit and then I'm gonna grab my glue gun and just put a little dab of glue there just to make sure it doesn't go anywhere. Again, I'm just gonna take those inner two wires and that crossbar, wrap my pipe cleaner around it and add a little bit of hot glue. And that's gonna be the start of our work wreath. I'm just gonna continue around doing the same process over and over again, all on the inside. And it's gonna be six pipe cleaners on the inside. And then when we move to the outside, it's gonna be an additional six pipe cleaners on the outside. Now this is where we're going to attach our deco mesh and our ribbon. So don't cut these wires, leave them full length and then you can just cut them afterwards and I'll show you later on how I do that as well. Once I'm done that inner circle, I move to the outside and this time I'm working on the outside two wires and I'm gonna attach that pipe cleaner in between the two crossbars so the outside two wires in between the two crossbars and then just twist, twist, twist and glue, glue, glue. <laughs> and once we're all done with that, that's going to give us a nice work wreath to use. And of course, you can do as many as you want or as little as you want. I usually do 12. That's where I, my happy place is. <laughs> so there we go. Now that we have our work frame all ready, it's time to get our deco mesh ready. So what I am doing is I'm just gonna take my 10 inch roll of deco mesh. And this one I got at um, Canadian Craft Imports. I just ordered it online, but I've seen this pattern, you know, at Michael's and everywhere else that you order deco mesh. So you can get that anywhere. And I'm just gonna measure this out to 14 inches and make my cuts since we have 12 uh, tinsels on our working wreath, I'm going to make 12 pieces of deco mesh. And how am I going to attach it to my wreath? I'm going to use the ruffle method for this. So curl side down. I'm just going to move that all out of the way. <laughs> and then I'm just going to fold in one of the ends and I'm just going to hold that in place. And then I'm going to squish in the middle and walk my fingers towards the end of the deco mesh and at the very end I'm going to do the same thing and curl it under. Then I'm just going to hold it with my fingers and then you put that center right in the middle of the pipe cleaners that you attached to your working frame. How easy is that eh? <laughs> 
Now, with the length of deco mesh for the ruffle method, it's totally up to you. For this wreath, I wanted it to keep it a little bit flat and not too much deco mesh. So that's why I'm only doing the 15 inch, but you can do 20 inch, 30 inch, etc., etc. So here I am folding the end, then I'm gonna find my middle, walk those fingers right down the middle till you get to the very end, fold over that end, and then all we're gonna do is pinch it in the middle and find a pipe cleaner or an empty pipe cleaner and place that on the wreath. For me, I normally do the outside and work my way inside. Uh, you, I mean, there isn't a right way to do this or a wrong way to do this. If you want to go outside, inside, outside, inside, or inside first and outside, you know what I mean? It totally is up to you. <laughs> this is just how I do things. So I'm working on my last little ruffle on the outside and you can see it's already filling up quite nicely. I don't really need any more, but I am going to fill in that middle portion as well. So where we put the six on the inside, I'm just going to continue with the same process, folding over the edge, curl side down, and then scrunch and scrunch and scrunch and scrunch in the middle. <laughs> and of course, you can use any colors that you want. Today's video just happens to be a Canadian patriotic, so it's red and white all over. But you can use any color of deco mesh, any style of deco mesh that you want. It'll all totally work for any occasion and any special event that you're making the wreath for. And now I'm finally finished putting in my ruffles, my last pipe cleaner. I'm going to twist and twist and twist. And our deco mesh is all finished. Look how full that looks. I just love how this looks already. And the ribbon isn't even on it yet. <laughs> Speaking of ribbon, <laughs> here is my ribbon. Here is my measuring tool and scissors. I am going to cut the ribbon at 10 inches. And what I'll do is I just, actually I'll leave all the measurements and how many pieces of ribbon I cut, etc., etc. Usually for every pipe cleaner, I do about five or six pieces of 10 inch ribbon. And that includes the center loop, and I'll show you what I mean by that in a little bit. So I have all my pieces cut, and it's about 60 to 70 pieces cut right now. And for each ribbon, I'm gonna fold it in half, create a V and make a cut, and I'm gonna dovetail the ends of those ribbons. Just to finish it off, makes it look nice and pretty and professional. It's obviously, you don't have to do that if you like the straight edge, totally go with it. I just prefer a dovetail on my ribbons. So I'm gonna go through and cut all of my ribbons. So here is the sample that I've put together. It's like my little ribbon cluster. And I'm just gonna show you how I do that. So you're gonna take your first piece of ribbon, squish it in the center, and then hold it with your other hand. And then with your free hand, take another one, I'm going to choose the polka dot instead of the plaid, <laughs> squish it together and form a T. Then take another one and put that one on a little bit of an angle such that you're kind of making a star really with the ribbon. Take another one and crisscross the other way. And then for our final ribbon, this is where we're going to make our little loop. So you fold that in half and that's just going to go on the center there. But in order for me to hold it, I have to squish it together. So I'm just going to squish it together, place it in the center, hold it nice and tight so nothing goes anywhere. And then I'm going to put that in between two pipe cleaners where there's no ribbon so far. And I'm just going to give that a really good couple of twists such that that ribbon isn't going to go anywhere. And when that's all done, you can fluff it up, move that ribbon all around, place it, curl it a little bit. These are all wire ribbons, so they do have that bendable movement that I love. And this is the loop that I was talking about earlier on. So it creates a little loop to your bow and it hides that pipe cleaner a little bit better. And there we go. Our first or second ribbon actually <laughs> is all done. And then you just follow the same process over and over again filling all 12 
of those uh, pipe cleaners that we have attached to the working frame. Oh, it's looking so good already. I hope you agree. <laughs> so let's finish all of this and get the last one done. I'm just going to quickly add this on here together. And you can see in the background there, the ribbon wreath is coming along so well. I love it. Here's my loop, the last thing I'm going to attach. The last ribbon's going on. Twisting it into that empty pipe cleaner. Twist, 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 Dave, come on. <laughs> and then what I do for my ribbons is I cut off the pipe cleaners. And then before I fluff it all up, I take my glue gun and I put a little dab of glue right at the end of the pipe cleaner just to make it a little bit more secure. That's just my preference. That's what I do. It's not mandatory. You don't have to do it. It's not, uh, you know, if you don't do it, <laughs> the wreath's not going to fall apart. But that's just what I do. And then now I just spend some time fluffing up everything, opening up those loops, getting those bows all nice and separated and on display. And I'm just going to take my time doing this from one bow to the next. And once I've got that all done, look how beautiful that looks. It's nice and full, red and white for our Canada Day collaboration today. And of course, I'm using this red and white ribbon for a big bow. <laughs> My bows are very simple. Um, I just, this is a two and a half inch wired ribbon again. And again, I got this from Canadian Craft Imports. All I do is I start with a little bit of a loop and then I start doing loops underneath it. So that creates a figure eight. And then with each additional loop that I'm adding on of ribbon, I make it just a little bit bigger than the one above. So this is my favorite bow to do. It's nice and easy. It's nice and simple. Here you go. There's that figure eight pattern that I'm working with. And I'm just making each one a little bit bigger than the top one. And in total, I'm going to do four figure eights, and then there's that one center loop. So I'm almost finished here working on my last figure eight, double checking to make sure I have four on each side, such that it's nice and even. And of course, now it's getting a little bit thicker and harder to hold in my hands. <laughs> so I'm fumbling around with it. <laughs> but then once that's there, I make sure I have the four, like I said, and then I'm going to cut off the excess. I'm going to save that excess because I'm going to make tails and attach tails to this. And we're going to take another Chanel stem, feed it through that center loop, lay it down, face down, and then I'm going to find the middle and I'm going to squish that all together and then twist that twist tie right around my ribbon to make sure it's not going to go anywhere. I like to do a couple of really good twists just to make sure that bow doesn't explode on me. <laughs> not that it's going to explode, but you know what I mean. Make sure it's not going to come apart. <laughs> oh, that was funny. And there you go. There's your bow. And you can fluff it up now or you can fluff it up later. Right now I'm just kind of testing to make sure everything looks good and I'm happy with it. And what I'm going to do now is create my tail. So for my tail, I don't really measure how long it is. I just kind of take a length of ribbon and then I'm going to do another length of ribbon as well. Here I am testing it out to see if that's what I like. And I do. And then I'm going to take another piece of ribbon and I'm going to do it just a little bit shorter than the first one. And finish it off just like we did with all of the other ribbons. I'm going to fold it in half, take my scissors, and create a nice little finishing touch of that dovetail on both of those ribbons. Then I'm going to find my center and since it's a wire frame or wire or ribbon, not a wire frame, you can fold it in half and find that center, squish it in the middle again, fold it underneath, and then we're going to take our bow, flip it upside down, and just attach that tail into your pipe cleaner and give it another couple of really good twists and voila you have a really simple easy bow that you can do at home and it looks amazing if i do say so myself <laughs> 
All I do to attach it is I flip it over and I find those two center wires and I'm just gonna feed those pipe cleaners through and give it another couple of good twists to make sure that bow is on there securely. And as I was holding it up, you could see how thin the wreath was, which I really liked. If you have a storm door or screen door, this will fit perfectly. And there we go. Let's give it some finishing touches, fluffing up that bow a little bit, getting those loops out and spread out. There we go. It turned out so big that I can't fit everything on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> but there is our final wreath in all of its glory. I love the red and white. Here we go, our Canadian red and white patriotic wreath. I just want to give a quick shout out to Lisa and Company for hosting the playlist, the Canada Day collaboration for myself and my fellow Canadian crafters. I had so much fun with this wreath. Don't forget, the playlist is linked below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, leave me a thumbs up and a comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell. Coming up, the gag reel. You're not going to want to miss this one. I am joining Lisa and company. She... What does she do? <laughs> company created to celebrate <laughs> and that would be my mic cord <laughs> and I was on a roll too oh oh that was good oh of course it would help if the microphone was pinned on me let's do it all over again Canada. <laughs> oh, then I forgot what I was going to say. Whether you know, red and white, Canadian, something. <laughs> oh, lordy, lordy, lordy. And only on take 357,576,324.